Hey guys, thank you very much for joining. Uh, today, by request, uh, we're going to go over Fuego, uh, mainly the mainly the riffs uh, to the song because it's it's a really full band song, a lot of piano, a lot of bass, but the guitar parts are really cool. Uh, they're not too 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 terribly difficult. Rhythm's a little odd, um, but we're going to go through all that, break it all down. And as always, if you haven't already, please click the subscribe button and hit the bell for notifications. And let's hop in. All right, so we're going to go ahead and start with the A riff here. So like I said, this is the song starts with piano. Um, so I'm just going to kind of start where I've kind of found the best guitar place to start, the the most fun place to start, really. Um, so we're going to start with this A riff here. So we've got our A in normal position here, uh, but we're playing it with our index finger. So we're just gonna bar the D, the G, and the B on that second fret. You're gonna wanna strum, and then your ring finger is gonna go to the fourth of the A, followed by a hammer on to the fifth of the A, and then back to the A chord. So you're gonna do that once, then you're gonna go hammer again, back to the A, then the A again, hammer again, and then you come into this, which we'll go over here in a little bit. But So let's play through this, the first part of that slowly. And then we add in, so all we're doing here, we've got our bar here on the second fret. We're gonna slide that down to the seventh, and then our uh, middle finger will go to the eighth of the B. So you'll strum it once, or it'll be a down strum, and an up, so. So, and then you'll take that middle finger off and do the same thing. Go through the whole thing slowly here. Okay, speed up a little bit here. A minor riff. Okay, um, it's a little weird. Uh, it takes it. It does take a little getting used to. Once you get used to it, it's not too bad. But it does take a little, a little bit of practice, as all this stuff does, really. Um, so we're we're hanging here on the fifth fret. Uh, so fifth fret here of the D. Hammer onto the seventh. Come back to the fifth, and you're gonna hit that fifth on the G. So, okay, and from there, you're gonna go to the seventh fret of the A, to the fifth fret of the A, back to the fifth of the D, and then this is the weird chord, weird note here. So now we're going to the sixth of the low E and uh, resolving here on the fifth of the low E. So, And that's that's really all it is to that to that riff. So you want 
to practice that a lot as well. Um, and that's, I mean, outside of the jam and whatnot, for the most part, like that's, you know, that, that'll give you a lot of the basics, uh, a lot of basics of the song structure. Um, one other thing that I was playing, so when they're going through the chorus, you know, the, um, when they're going through the chorus piece, Trey's Trey, for the most part is still playing. playing it by yourself you could kind of do something like this if you you know if you heard the the lyric to the song right it's kind of fun to play um, so I just kind of came up with that a little bit. But honestly, it, it's just playing off of, um, you know, the, the sounds I'm hearing in the song. Uh, but we're on the fifth fret here of that, uh, the B. So actually, we're in an A shape. So we've got the, uh, the tray A that I like to call it, you know. So yeah, he loves that A. That's really cool. So we start with that. I'm starting with that pattern, basically. And you're just um, so then we're going here with uh, so fifth fret of the B, uh, sixth of the G, and then seventh of the G, then fourth of the G, six, two, and we're going to come over to the uh, the D on the fifth fret. And then you can do a you can do a hammer on from the second to the fourth here on that G, and back to your A ref. For the most part, that that is what I have uh, for the song. Like I said, this is it's more of a loose loose lesson for sure. Uh, just giving you kind of the base basics and the riffs that you can work with and kind of play along with. There's also a D, I think, in there after the uh, after the chorus. And I've got there's a D, and then Paige is doing a pretty pretty extensive walk down. like that so yeah have fun with it um i appreciate you guys hanging out and watching please leave me any feedback comments below and i'll see you guys again soon